Um, I can just start off if you guys don't have anything quite yet. Casey, just like initial thoughts on the match um, on Saturday, what you guys are preparing for. Yeah, obviously, I think Louisville have had a really good start to the season. Um, they've got a very competitive squad. Um, a lot of respect for Bev as their manager and what she's trying to implement there. And they've been unlucky not to get some more wins. So we know it's going to be a really tough test. Um, we know we haven't had ideal prep for the international window, um, but are very aware of the, the tasks that are ahead of us. All right, Stephanie, we'll go with you first. Hi, Coach. Um, I have two questions. The first question is, um, during the last two previous games for the U.S. Women's National Team, Jaden Shaw was played in more of a free roaming midfield role. Do you think she could po probably play that role for San Diego in the future? She's played that role for us in the past, and I'm sure she'll play that role for us in the future. Um, we've got a lot of talented players, and we've got to try and find the best way to put them in the team and get them in positions where they can be successful. And the second question is, can you give us an update on Naomi Gurma's status? She's still at the moment being checked by medical, so it'll be a last-minute decision on her. Awesome. Abraham, we'll have you go next. Uh, hey, Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, this first extended road trip? How has the team prepared for that, and how do you plan on um, managing the team this week while also thinking about um, a game against Orlando on Friday? I think we plan for every game as it comes. Obviously, we're over on the road for an extended period. Um, it's not ideal from a league perspective, having two back-to-back -back away games after an international window. It means our international players are going to be on the road for, for more than three weeks. But we know what it's about. Um, we've prepared for this game with the players we've had back in San Diego. Um, the players that have been international have met us here in Louisville, so it's been a short prep time with them. But we've done the best we can. Uh, with the time we've had available, um, we'll prepare for Louisville. And then after that, we'll look ahead to Orlando. But we won't do that at any point until we've, we've you know, got this game done. Any thoughts? Oh. All right, Johnny, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Uh, what does the availabilities look like tomorrow for the national team players? Um, at the moment, everyone's available, but like I said, we're still waiting on a final decision on Naomi, so she is, she's not guaranteed at the moment. Okay, and uh, you have a week in Orlando after this match, uh, ahead of the ahead of the match on Friday against the Pride. What benefits does the team have spending a week there? I think spending a week together is a benefit. You know, having that time to be together, to spend together, also. You know, being away from San Diego sometimes is a bit of a break for the team. Um, we'll be able to, you know, review whatever happens tomorrow, learn from it. Um, we need, Also, being in Orlando allows us to adapt to the conditions. The weather is different. It is warmer. There's more humidity. So being able to train there is important for us leading into that game. Thanks, Coach. Abraham, we'll go back to you. Yeah. Uh, so... Could you talk a little bit about, you know, during the international window, you get to see some of the other players training outside of the internationals. Can you talk a little bit about some of the players that might have impressed you and might might get a starting role when they might not have in, in previous weeks? Yeah, I think obviously having 10 away um, allows you to work more in detail with the players that are left, but we work in detail with everybody, no matter who's here or not. So we've been able to work on certain players' movements, certain players' roles within this game um, and obviously prep. We also had a bit of an in-house game as well, so we managed to get a little bit of playing time into people in terms of larger spaces and being able to work with people on finer details going into this one and also some individual development pieces around players' games. So it's real, real good when we have lower numbers uh, to be able to do that. And then we've had other players come into our training environment to enable us to be able to do 11 v 11 and prep for this game. Anyone else have a question for Casey? Going once, going twice. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, we'll wrap it up with Alejandro. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Casey. Uh, sorry to join late. Just wanted to follow up. Uh, what's, what's it like? Ideally, you don't want to have like an international break this early in the season, but how does it feel? You know, you have players that are playing with the their national teams. They're starting, they're getting minutes, and they're just playing exceptionally as the head coach of those players, how does that feel? 
I think it's fantastic. Obviously, listen, I've played for my country for 18 years. I think it's the pinnacle of your career. So to be able to have players going and represent their country, getting good minutes and playing time it is great. Um, obviously, as a head coach, it's a challenge because, you know, you've got players playing big minutes three days before you've got to play another game. Um, and some flying across Europe, some obviously staying in America, which was good. But I think it's invaluable experience for them. It gives them different challenges, different tactical challenges, different, different technical challenges, obviously different relationships they're trying to build within national teams, different pressures as well, which I think is good. It helps development. Um, and I'd always encourage it from players. The challenge you have is them coming back in and knowing exactly what their role is within the team before you play again. But that's my job as a head coach is to prepare them in, in the smallest amount of time as efficiently as I can. So, yeah, really proud of all the players that have gone away to represent their countries and, and glad they've come back, you know, as fit, as healthy as they can.